ChatGPT released a new update and today I want to test it out and see if it's useful in creation of AI art that you can later on sell on Etsy. I want to see what type of products I can create with this new ChatGPT and DALI that is building in this new ChatGPT. I want to play with the tools. I want to compare it to Mid Journey. I want to see which one is better. I want to see if it's capable of creating transparent images with transparent backgrounds so I don't have to remove it in other softwares like Canva or Photoshop. So let's get to the video. So this is the new ChatGPT. GPT, which you can buy for $20, which currently is cheaper than Mid Journey because the Mid Journey plan is $30 a month. I know they have a $10 plan, but honestly, the $10 plan is not going to give you a lot. So you need to spend at least $30 if you want enough of the speed mode or whatever they call it. The standard is just like the one that people pick. That's why it's called the standard. But the new chat GPT costs $20 a month, which is cheaper than Mid Journey. And remember that this is chat GPT. So you not only only are gonna get the AI image generator but also the text AI which you can use for other tools maybe you want to use this tool to create emails that you can send to your customers using Everbe on Etsy this is the tool I'm using so I actually created some custom emails and I put it on my Everbe email campaigns to send out emails to my customers at this point you know what ChatGPT is and you know how much you can do with it so mid journey is just the image generator ChatGPT has a multi-purpose usage so once you get the new chat GPT what you want to do is you want to switch to jet GPT 4 and then they have this thing called explore where you can explore different GPTs and GPTs are basically like these built-in plugins kind of and they integrated the DALI which is the AI image generator that we're gonna use in our example but they also have like a sticker one so you can create stickers that's also something that people sell on Etsy there's one for creating coloring books that's also another product that people sell on Etsy there's one called Cosmic Dream that you can use to create like this beautiful wall art and wall art is another product that sell on Etsy. You get the point. They have a lot of built-in plugins that you can use to create this type of images. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, from now on, ChatGPT is capable of reading images. You can upload photos to ChatGPT and ChatGPT is capable of reading what it's seeing and it is capable of recreating. So we're gonna take advantage of this feature as well. So I'm gonna use DALI, their image generator. I wanna create some clip art but first let's go on etsy and see what type of clip art is popular right now so i'm on etsy i'm going to type in clip art and i just want to see briefly what are the type of images i'm going to see first and the first thing i'm going to see it's obviously the christmas stuff by the way if you're planning on selling digital products related to christmas like clip art digital papers and stuff like that you literally have a couple of weeks left so if you want to jump on this wagon now is the time or you can already start planning for another seasons okay so i'm going to use everby to see what type of listing is very popular right now i know these gnomes are very popular so this is probably going to be our best seller but let's just look at the data really quick all right product analytics let's see what's selling i'm going to sort it out by the monthly sales the number one thing is the 3d clip art with santa claus so let's take a look at this one so this is the number one seller and i'm curious if i can recreate something with chat gpt so let's actually see if chat gpt is capable of recreating this like happy santa in the 3d effect so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take a screenshot of this like this okay i just want to get the gist of the santa gist of the santa didn't really sound too well right just forget it that i said it all right i got the screenshot let's go to dali and i'm gonna ask him can you create an image similar to this one and I'm gonna upload the image and you can upload an image by using this icon right here. All right, the image is ready. So Dali is thinking right now. And as you can see, this loading screen, it means that it's recreating the images. The cool thing that I noticed about Dali is that it's faster than Mid Journey, but it only gives you two images. Mid Journey gives you four, Dali gives you two, but it's faster. And voila, the images are ready. And they're pretty good if you ask me, like the, the character looks good, the hands look good, the smile, the happy face, it has a 3D effect. This is pretty good. One thing I noticed with DALI and Mid Journey, the difference between those two is that Mid Journey images have this like washy feeling, okay? They always look very washy. With DALI, I see more precise images. And when I say precise, I mean like these images and the characters have better eyes, hands. They don't have that washy feeling. This is cool and all, but like ideally, I want this to be on a transparent background or the white color background. So let's ask ChatGPT, can you make this image on transparent? background 
Okay, it created the image of the Santa on a transparent background, but it's not the same type of Santa. It's a different type of Santa, which still looks good. It's just a different style. And this one even have a right amount of fingers. It has five fingers. But is this really transparent? But like you can see here that like these squares, they don't really look very transparent. They look very blurry. I'm gonna download this and I'm gonna actually see if it's transparent. Okay, so the image is not truly transparent. As you can see, it kind of looks like it is, but it's not because I can take out the object from here and yeah, it's not fully transparent, but that's still pretty good because ChatGPT literally listened to my command and then created a transparent background. And this square type of background is usually what you see when you have a transparent background. I can easily remove it. As you can see, I can easily remove the object from this background, right? And I can remove background very easily. Well, I would need to fix this. That's still pretty easy to do. And I can remove the background with Canva, for example, if you don't have Photoshop. This is a pretty good sign. So what I'm gonna try now is I'm gonna open the image and right here, when you click on this icon, it's gonna show you the prompt, okay? So this is the prompt that Dali used to create this image. I'm gonna copy that prompt because I like that image. I, I, I kinda wanna recreate something like this, okay? So I'm gonna put the prompt in the Dali. And the cool thing about Dali is that you don't have to type in Imagine, just like you have to do with Midjourney. You just copy the prompt and paste it and I'm going to edit it and I'm going to say that I want this Santa image to be on the white background. So this, all of it talks about Santa. I'm just trying to see the end of the sentence and I'm going to say on white background. And now I want to see if Dali is going to be able to recreate what I want. Okay. This is really good. It is on the white background. It has... <laughs> It has Rudolph the reindeer in the uh, chimney, <laughs> which is funny, but this is kind of what I was looking for. And this one is exactly kind of what I was looking for because it has this like really big 3D effect. So check this out. I'm gonna download this image. And right now I'm in Canva. I upload the image of this Santa Claus. Now Canva has the background removal. So I'm gonna use the edit photo, BG remover and watch this. Now the image is transparent and I'm going to download it to show you this. See, the image is transparent and it removed a little bit too much like this part and this part, but it can be easily fixed. So when that happens in Canva, what you can do is you want to go back and then do the background removal again and then click on the configuration and click on restore and you can restore the part that you want it back like this. And voila. So this can clearly work with clip arts. If you're trying to recreate clip art and that you want to sell on Etsy, this can work pretty good. Okay, so I also asked it to create watercolor clip art because watercolor clip art is very popular on Etsy. That's probably number one type of clip art that people are looking for on Etsy. I asked it to create a watercolor gnome on white background playing guitar and it's pretty good. I would even say that this looks better than some of the mid journey creations. And I like that it doesn't have this wishy washy feeling. And also Midjourney recreates these like splashes on objects sometimes when you ask for watercolor images. This went straight to the point. There's no nothing messy. It's just exactly what I wanted. And I like that this is the gnome without the eyes because these gnomes are very popular and there's not a lot of those on Etsy. And Midjourney for some reason is not capable of recreating those gnomes without eyes. So this is really good. And I also asked about the watercolor Highland cow wearing cowboy boots. And I think it li listened to me too literally, but like, that's the cool thing. It seems like ChatGPT is very little in what you're asking it for, which is something that Midjourney is not doing. Midjourney is a little bit more guessing while ChatGPT is giving you exactly what you're asking for. And again, these are pretty good too. And it's also on a white background. So again, it's easy to remove this. So far, I like ChatGPT a lot. I like the Dali. I like what I can do with this. Let's try these other modes that they have, like the sticker mode. So I'm gonna click on the sticker whiz now and I'm gonna ask it the same thing. Create a Christmas gnome playing guitar. I wanna see what this mode is doing. Okay, it's creating the image. Wow, that's pretty cool, pretty cool. And stickers are quite popular on Etsy. Just to compare the multi-searches for stickers, it's 5,636 
and for clip art is 1700 so stickers are five times maybe like four times more popular than clip art and with this tool you can create these stickers really fast and easy i am really impressed with this okay what about the coloring book one i want to see what type of coloring books it can create so let's give it the same example create a christmas non playing guitar i want to see what this coloring book is gonna make that's also pretty cool Look at the, the the character. There's not many messy stuff. Like again, with Mid Journey, very often you get problems with hands, problems with eyes. This is all good. This is everything is even. Precision in this is way better, in my opinion, than in Mid Journey. Don't get me wrong, Mid Journey is creating great images, but this one is just more precise. There's one more thing that I forgot to mention. Dali is capable of creating text. So I asked it to create a watercolor Christmas banner that says Merry Christmas, Patrick. And this is what I got. Merry Christmas, Patrick. Merry Christmas, Patrick. This is insane. Mid Journey is not capable of creating text. Now I can create all these banners using DALI and I can put the custom text on it. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I am really, really, really impressed with what new ChatGPT is capable of doing. Maybe that's why they fired the CEO of OpenAI recently because his tool is just too great. I'm just kidding. I don't know why he got fired. If I'll compare DALI and Mid Journey right now, I'm gonna be honest with you. This is the first time I'm actually considering dropping Mid Journey whatsoever and just going into DALI. Because first of all, it's cheaper, it's faster, the images are more precise, I can create text on these images, it has different modes, which is something that Mid Journey doesn't have right now. The coloring book one, the sticker one, clip art. It's easier to create prompts. I don't need the Discord, I don't need any of these messy extra apps when i ask it to be on white background it literally creates something on white background and it's easy to remove the objects from it this is really impressive and also it's chat gpt i can use it for all the tools i don't need to just use it for AI images i can use it for you know other stuff as well i think i'm gonna switch for real this one is huge let me know in the comments if you're considering switching to new chat gpt to create AI images it seems like it's a pretty powerful tool also consider joining our YouTube membership where you can join our private disc or our weekly meetings. You can get a list of monthly prompts and list of products you can drop on platforms such as TikTok shop, Facebook, eBay, etc. Check out the links down below, especially the one for Everbee as well, where you can get the free trial to test out this product research tool where it's very impressive and powerful. You can also send out custom emails to your customers as well, which you can create in ChatGPT now, because now you have a ChatGPT4, which is capable of creating really convincing email templates for your customers. But that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed this. I wish you all the best. Good luck on your journey. I'll see you next time. Take care.